All right, fighthype.com here. We're one of the best middleweight contenders in the game. He was one of the best super middleweight contenders in the game. <laughs> Dennis, mama's boy, Douglas. Now, Dennis, after winning your fight a couple weeks ago, Von Alexander, you were the underdog. He was undefeated. But I heard you got a new nickname now. You're not just the mama's boy. I'm not just mama's boy. I'm the black Mexican. So it's Dennis, the mama's boy, a.k.a. El Negro Mexico. Or El Mexico Negro <laughs> Douglas, man. So are you the black Mexican because the way you fight too? Of like, course, yeah. the way I fight and um, like I said, we got Jose Benavides in the corner now and his team and I've been training with these guys for the past seven weeks now and it's been great, man. It's a great feeling. I love it and I love the high intensity, high energy. I, every time I fight, I want to be entertaining. I want to fireworks and I think that's what personifies a Mexican fighter. Man, you've been, you've been working with David Benavides. You fought David Benavides. You've been working with them for years. So you're telling me now you, they're actually part of the camp? You're yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I actually came to, I came to the gym with them because um, I heard David was looking for some soft pole work. So I came, I wanted to beat him up. Like, I wanted to like, show him, like, you got lucky. So I came in with, a, with like, a chip on my shoulder. But his whole team embraced me. They said what a good fight it was. We sparred. It was great work. David's a nice guy outside of, I mean, outside of fighting. I mean, everybody, everybody got to be an a-hole when it's fight time. But outside of the ring, so him, great guy, I love his family, and they just, his dad asked me to come in and, and help out a little bit, and I, I thought it was like, gel well, so I'm working with them now. When y'all fought, they went 10 hard rounds, so what's it like in sparring? Is it, is it almost oh, like a fight? Yeah, every, you, you, you could pay for the sparring, like our sparring is definitely top notch, every time we go to the beach spar, it's a war, but we're learning, I mean, like, like I said, it's a mutual respect, but it's still, when it's time to get in there, we, we, go, we go hard. You know I gotta ask you personally, how's this punch, what is the punch of power like with David? Um, I think as far as Super Middleweights, David is definitely one of the hardest hitting punches that I've been in the ring with. But um, he, I mean, he tells me the same thing and I feel like I'm a little guy, so that feels good to hear. Um, like I say, he, he's great work and he comes in great shape. I, great work, great work, I'm leaving it like that, great work. How did you pull off beating Vaughn that you took away his own? Um, well, to be honest with you, man, I mean, Vaughn's an undefeated fight. I took nothing away from him, but I didn't think me and Vaughn was on the same level in a lot of aspects. Um, and, but I mean, that goes for a lot of fighters. I just enter the ring sometimes not in the best shape, and, and that's my fault. So, from, from, from that camp and from every camp from now on, you're gonna get the best mama's boy. And I don't think anybody can beat the best mama's boy. So, that's why I put it out there, and I'm gonna keep saying it. The next time I lose, I'll retire because I'm not losing anymore. So, that goes, that was for Vaughn, that's for whoever else is next. Like, I'm not losing. No more. So if you beat me, I'll quit. You think when you beat a guy like Vaughn handily, the way you did, it wasn't close to beat him clean, that that kind of validates what you've been talking about, that you could have been 12 and 0, 15 and 0, 16 and 0 if, if you weren't fighting killers from day one. Yeah, I definitely like, think that. I think um, what, what really held me back is not the skill or the ability, it's just some um, discipline, dedication that I was lacking for a while, and the overconfidence. I would be out partying, they'll call me, ask if I want to fight next week against a David Benavidez or fighters of that caliber. And I would still take it because I was so confident in my skills. Now I'm still confident in those same abilities, but I'm putting the work in behind it. I'm staying dedicated, I'm not partying, not drinking, not messing with girls. So now you're gonna get, like I said, the best mama's boy there is, AKA the black man's skin. You're gonna get the best one. So. With, with that mindset and my ability and my hard work, I don't see, I'm not losing anymore. Not even, I don't see it. It's not gonna happen, like, it's not gonna happen. So if you feel like you could beat me, let's go. Like, make me retire. I wanna retire. I got a baby, my baby girl's here. I'm ready to retire. Come beat me. It's a Come, tough job. It's, yeah, it's a tough <laughs> job. Come make me retire, that's it. Bad. I got it. What was Mom Duke telling you between the corners? Uh, um, like, well, see, because she, because she's half trainer, half mother, she's always, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing everything right so I'm protecting myself, not getting hit. We heard that Vaughn was a big puncher, so she was focused on me doing everything right the way we worked on in the camp so that I don't get caught with these big shots. So, I mean, she she was great in the corner. Jose was great in the corner. It was, it was good, but, but it also was very comforting because we knew from the gate that he didn't have anything for me and I was in great shape. So, as much as she's Dennis, watch out for this, watch out for this, she was comfortable, I was comfortable, everything, everything was good. How confident are you that you could get on a run here and win so many fights in middleweight that you would basically force a Danny Jacobs or a good luck? I'm super confident. I mean, and it's still middleweight or super middleweight. Like, I'll go to anyone. I'm super confident that I'm ready for these top guys. Um, I think that I've proven it by beating Vaughn, but I'll fight somebody else before that. I, I'm, I'm, I don't turn down fights. So, um, I was hearing talks about potentially them wanting me to fight Demetrius Batter, who's another undefeated fighter that's on the Golden Boy. I would love to fight Demetrius Batter. Um, take another undefeated fighter, take, take another O. So um, him, 
Um, there's, there's big names out there that, that I would love to fight. So I don't want to call anybody out right now. Like, I'm just waiting to see what the camp does. But like I said, anybody in that top 10, top 5, sign me up. I'm with, I'm with whoever. You're answering all phone calls. All phone calls. I'm ready. See, I'm back in the gym already. We're back sparring already. I'm ready to work.